Oh, hi. I'm James, Computer Hardware Training Coordinator for Interconnection, and I'm going to show you how to change the master-slave designation on your hard drive. Now, on your IDE hard drive, you're going to have these, this little white thing right here. This is a jumper. All it does is it connects two of these pins together, and it tells this hard drive whether it's connected to master, slave, or if it's going to try to figure it out for itself in cable select mode. Now, to set this jumper, all you have to do is find out, A, what setting do you want, B, remove and, re and uh, basically remove and replace the jumper. On most hard drives, you're going to have a diagram that's going to show you the positions for the different jumper settings. All you have to do is look at the picture and figure out what setting you want and where to put the jumper. In our case, we want to set this to master. So I'm going to look on here, and I'm going to see that master is one over from the key. The key is a single solitary pin all by itself. It's mainly used as a reference point. Now this right here, this guy all by himself, that's your key. Everything's in reference to that. Now on some hard drives, instead of showing the key, they may show the power connector, but they'll always show a reference point, so you know where to move it from. Now as I said, we want to set this to master, so that's one over from our key, which is the current setting right here. So this is set to master right now. Now if we wanted to remove the jumper and change it to setting, a different setting, all we'd have to do is take it out, you can pry these with your fingernail, you can use a pair of tweezers, whatever you need to use. Just be very careful, you don't drop it, because they're very small and easy to lose. And there you have it. That right there is your jumper. To change the setting, all you do is you move it over a couple more, right there or anywhere else. In our case, it's already in the correct position, which was the master setting. So, we want to put it back there. We just take it. Master was one over from the key, right there. We put it on both of them, and we push it in. That's all there is to it. I'm James, and that was how to change the master slave jumper configuration on your hard drive.